I'm Mike Barham. I'm the media liaison at Galco Gun Leather, and we're out here at Gun Sight. We're going to talk a little bit today about how to choose the right holster. Holster selection is a very important thing. It's important to have your gun with you all the time when you need it, whether that's in a defensive concealment type situation or if it's in an outdoor situation where maybe you're hunting, maybe you're fishing in bear country, anything like that where you might need protection against a four-legged animal rather than a two-legged animal. But the holsters that you need for those two situations are a little bit different because the situations themselves are pretty different. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to choose a holster for either of those situations. Uh, there are a couple of things you want to look for in a defensive type holster. Defensive holsters need to keep the gun in the same place, but they also need to conceal it well. And so what we look for in a defensive type belt holster is a flat design to keep the gun close to your body and to keep it concealed under your clothing. The thing to look for there is the two offset belt loops. This is called a pancake type design. And the two offset belt loops in a pancake design help to pull the gun in tight and it makes the whole package quite a bit flatter. So that's something that helps you with concealment when you're talking about carrying a gun for self-defense under your clothes. The other thing with a design like this is that it's typically carried behind the hip, like so. And what you want in a holster that's carried behind the hip is a bit of a forward tilt. That helps you access the gun smoothly, and it also helps to tuck the butt of the gun into the rib cage, and that helps conceal it a little bit better, particularly if you're carrying a larger defensive handgun. What we typically look for in a defensive holster as well, particularly for an armed citizen rather than a law enforcement officer, is an open top. The open top design is a much simpler, easier, faster design to draw from. So you get a good, quick, smooth draw from the holster. And those are the things you want to look for in a defensive type holster. At the opposite end of the spectrum is an outdoor type holster, which you might use for hunting. Uh, you might be carrying your gun for protection in bear country, anything like that. There are a couple of different things here versus a concealment holster. The most important of which is some type of retention device. If you're bouncing around on a horse or uh, on your ATV or anything like that, you really need something that's going to keep the gun from bouncing out of the holster. So we look for a retention device. This is our dual action outdoorsman holster and it uses a pretty standard retention strap. There are other ways to go, including a thumb brake retention strap that are equally good. Uh, this is just a simple, traditional retention device. We also have a tension unit on this holster that allows you to customize the feel of the draw and how tightly the holster grips the gun. In terms of where you put this on your body, this design actually offers you two options. You can carry it on your strong side, as we showed with the defensive type holster, or you can carry it in a cross draw position. The cross draw position is actually very useful when you're seated, maybe on horseback or on an ATV, or if you're carrying a long barrel gun. And this is made for a, a seven and a half inch Ruger uh, Super Blackhawk, which is a difficult gun to draw from the strong side because the barrel's so long but it's very easy to draw from when you're reaching across your body to pull the gun out. And so this holster gives you a couple of good options in that respect. So this is something that you wanna choose when you're looking for a hunting or outdoor type holster.